Legion, it's Adrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris Apocalypse in our High Dominion series. So things have been going quite well as we've returned. We have, of course, defeated the... Uh, this happened before the series went on break, but we defeated the uh, Pretherin Scourge, and now we have to deal with several folks just around the galaxy to achieve our domination victory, which has been the plan since the beginning. So this science ship I'm going to bring back to help with research because, well, we, we need science ships doing that. So Sindar Prime, I don't think has... Yes, you do, actually. What about Ryok Prime? My most... What are my worlds with the most research out there? Ooh, Ebermachus already has a science ship. You don't need one. Cybert's Prime Alpha might eventually benefit from one, but I think what I need to do is really find the world like Cybert's Prime Alpha, or is there another one with high society output that doesn't have? Yeah, Citrinius. You did have a science ship orbiting you, so let's send you back and have you assist research. We don't need a science ship out here anymore. We've fully surveyed the area. And we've also turned the Will to Power Edict on, so we now are generating tons of influence and our ability to boost our mineral income and get all that done soon. That's gonna... It's not gonna take long. And then we have to... We, we've got some butt to kick. Next couple of episodes are gonna be fun. Alright, so the Durr system needs to have a Starbase built in it. As does the... Complete. The Wii U system. Alright, so you're done out here. Let's have you come over this direction, please. Good. So that's the other Gaia planet. It we've just added, and that's those are a few ticks off of the. Uh... Oh, the Great Khan's already dead. Well, that didn't last long. In spite of her vaunted military genius, Mirox, the Great Khan of the Natraxi Horde, has met with defeat in the Jugrod system. When the armada she was commanding was lost in battle against forces belonging to the Sidron Index, uh, the Great Khan and her closest officers fled into hyperspace in a small shuttlecraft. That's hilarious. Even now, Mirox is busy assembling a new armada to resume her conquest, but this victory has brought some much needed respite to those who oppose the relentless advance of the Natraxi Horde. So the Great Khan is not infallible. So it's kind of like Attila in Total War Attila. You have to you have to kill the Great Khan, you know. You have to kill Attila like once to truly kill him. Like it, it takes you got to kill him a couple of times. It's it's a weird mechanic, but it makes sense if you played Attila. Starbase in Wii U. So we're almost done remerging our territory, and it's actually connected again, which is nice to see. Construction complete. Feral Pretherin sighted. Interesting. Many Pretherin creatures remain unaccounted for after the defeat of the Scourge. Oh, interesting having slipped away into the depths of space in the ensuing chaos. With no central hive consciousness to guide them, most of these mindless beasts will eventually wither and perish. However, recent sightings have confirmed that a large number of these feral brethren have established a new lair in the Engetinar system. In the coming years, we will likely face the possibility of more feral brethren nesting in unoccupied systems where the Scourge once had a presence. They are unlikely to develop into a major threat. These wild creatures are prone to infighting and do not exhibit the calculating intelligence that drove the Scourge onwards. Issue a travel advisory. So we can actually annihilate them probably with one fleet. Well, Pockin's Armada can probably roll in and just, well, roll in. Let's see, Sudnar's Armada might be the one to do it, though. Given the composition of Sudnar's Armada and the strength of the Sudnar's Armada. So, why don't I send you in? You're, you're at your uh, main station right now, aren't you? So, let's send them to confront the fleet. Maybe send a couple. Hang on. Also have his Nax Armada. Yeah, let's send his Nax Armada. So it is actually taking up space, which is quite annoying. Let's let's do this the right way then. Didn't realize the Pretherin were gonna come back. But we need to we need to lock down this these systems to where they don't. That's a good way to do it. It's a sensible way to go about things. I'm build a starbase there. You're building those research stations. You're building those mining stations. So you can then, yeah, that's blocking access. We're gonna we're gonna have to finish them off. So our fleets are on the way, and it won't take long. 
They're feral, so they, they won't expand. They're just going to be annoying. Now, these are a lot of our... Now, let's go ahead and get a Black Hole Observatory built. And then get that upgrade going. The Mighton Station also needs an upgrade. Chiban Station can, be, can do an upgrade. And you, I guess, just have some defense platforms? Good. All right. Now we're still rebuilding this ruined ring section. That's going to take a while. 20k and I can queue up another project, but we have to do them one at a time. All right, so I can see my fleets arriving. They're on the way. This hopefully won't be too much of a distraction. I wasn't expecting this to happen. I haven't defeated the Pretherin on YouTube or off YouTube before. Actually, hasn't been a thing. Governor Cognat has died at the age of 153. He was the governor of the Absaja sector. Let's replace him in the Absaja sector with... Actually, you know what? Hmm. No, Mighton already has a governor, and that's fine. So let's, let's recruit... A long-lived, long-lived governor. That'll be fine. 60 of 84 planets required. Yeah, this is not going to take particularly long, I don't think. What do we have here? Inactive buildings? Yeah, we've got some migration happening. Complete. Probably to the other Gaia planets. Upgrade? Construction complete. Good. This is Great Khan Mirox of the Netraxi Horde. My defeat at the hands of the Sidron Index was a minor setback, nothing more. The Sidrons are brave warriors and worthy opponents, but they too will fall before us. The tide of history is sweeping across the galaxy and nothing can stop it. My new armada has been assembled. A second onslaught approaches. Well, Lodi frickin' da. Have fun with that, Cyd uh, Cybrex, Cydrex, whatever your name is. I will be taking care of these feral brethren and then taking care of the Prosnock and Heralds of Death after I take care of the next continuum. It's going to be fun. All right. Is there a... Yeah, you don't have any orders. So I need to build a starbase there. And we can travel there. Okay, that makes more sense. I have this construction ship that has nothing to do except twiddle their thumbs. What's going on here with the Monocadier system? Has that always been there? Or did they take it? Did I not colonize it, and they took it? If so, that's really annoying. It's probably been that way for a while, and I just forgot it's that way, because the series took such a long break, but I'm looking at it now like, what is even going on with that, and why did I let that happen? Adrian, you make no sense. Okay. Taking a look at my stations to see where I might be able to do additional upgrades, because there's no sense... Again, we, we, don't, we can't spend the other 20k yet. Governor Catrilla has died. So they're the... Wait. No, I don't want to fire that leader. I think Catrilla was our core governor. So let's fix that by recruiting a new one. And we definitely want to have a... Now let's have Karba take over. High-level governor for our core sectors. That's going to boost our research... And then the Mighton sector needs a little research boost of its own. I don't like any of these leaders. Dismiss. Ugh. Dismiss. Seriously? Fine. Architectural interest will do. There is going to be some building in that area, so... So be it. Okay, our naval capacity situation did solve itself. That's nice to see. Let's get some other upgrades done here. Like I said, we don't have... Hello. Let's fix those. Capacity overload and scientific revolution edict. Ooh, with capacity overload gone... Yeah, we need that back. Construction complete. We need that back soon. 
Open borders from the Polisma Star Council? Yeah, okay. Please open your borders to us so we can conquer you. That, that'll be great. Okay, so are my fleets in position yet? No, they're still moving. There's one that's still a little bit farther away than I would have thought at this point. Construction complete. Citadel upgrades happening there. Mighton stations happening here. Okay, good. We got the Black Hole Observatory built. Why does it keep saying I have upgrades available? Is it because... Of, oh, okay. I need the minerals. I was wondering why that click did nothing earlier. But that makes sense. I, uh, I understand that. Alright, what do we have? Minerals plus five. And I can now look at... Yeah, there's some smaller... I haven't looked into Whirlwind Missiles yet. Or the Mega Cannon. Let's go ahead and get that. Just in case we might want to put it on a ship. For whatever reason. And we're about to finally be able to do this upgrade. Complete. There we go. Done. Governor Cognat's leveled up. You have no orders, but you will in a second, because I'm about to send you there. Hate to use any more influence. I don't think you have orders yet, so let's fix that. Once my two armadas are in place, his Naxx and Sothnars, we will annihilate the rest of those guys. Master's teacher, master teaching warring states. That was my naval capacity, so we're gonna need, we're gonna need to reactivate that. There goes more of my influence. It'll still rebuild. Now that we're finally done adding systems, we will be okay. But we do have a bit of a an energy crisis now. That much is for certain. Almost ready. All right, they're in the same system. The agreement we signed giving you access to our databanks has run its course. We would like to extend our deal. Please and thanks. All right, let's have you follow the big guys, because these guys have a Titan. And here's how this is going to go down. You're going to attack in order those guys. This will be fun to watch. Insult from who? The Themlar throng? I sincerely do not care. Construction complete. Zeno station engaged. All right, we have arrived. We're going to melt these guys as quickly as we melted the other ones. How's this for a travel advisory? Uh, yes, I need this, the happiness boost from the Riggin Commerce Exchange. Admiral gains trait. Good. Dorakin now has the aggressive trait. Of course, we will need to establish... Construction we'll need to use influence to establish a starbase here as well, ironically. Okay, so we've dealt with them. Let's send them back. Let's reinforce that fleet. Reinforce this one. Have them both go back home. And we will have a construction ship come in post-haste and start building. And then we won't have any more influence to spend, thank God. And we can get our income situation in order. We've got to start with the capacity overload edict. Construction complete. Which requires how much? I feel like the capacity overload edict is... No, it's the same as the droning optimizations. It's 195. It's going to take about a year. Pretty much exactly a year. Great Khan Mirox is dead. Hey, what a surprise. After her armada met with a defeat a second time in the Kalam system, the Great Khan made no attempt to escape her flagship when it was destroyed in battle by the Sidron Index. With their beloved leader gone, a vicious power struggle has erupted in the Atraxi Horde. The Great Khan's warlords are now fighting each other for control over her empire, and it remains to be seen who will emerge on top. So ends the reign of Mirox. Haha, in your face. Well, that's pretty funny. I was not expecting that to go quite that poorly. A few more upgrades here. Have we built everything else we need to here? I think so. Oh, wait, nope. Mining stations. 
Now, some of these systems can probably go to the other sector, to the Sondrath sector, in fact, like Soyu, Rixum, Yandus, and Engentinar. Or Engentinar. There's no N. There's, there's only the one. Or the two, I guess. I tried to put a third in there. So... How long until we have another core world? 90 months. I really would like to be able to have that done sooner. But Again, we're looking for 195 here so we can get our energy income back up. All right, there go our energy edicts. And then we need to get our mineral income back up. But it, it has actually risen on its own rather substantially mining stations so that should uh, that should finish off whatever's left of those guys of the prether and scourge i would think How long until this is done? Still a good while, actually. Almost ready for the new complete. Horde reverts to old ways. The death of the Great Khan has also proved the, the killing blow for the many reforms that were instituted by the Natraxi to turn their disorganized Marauder clans into a consolidated galactic empire. None of the warlords who succeeded the Great Khan have shown the least bit of interest in continuing these reforms, and the Natraxi have all reverted to the old ways of their violent Marauder past. The Natraxi are united no longer. It was inevitable. I don't even see them. Complete. I'm not sure what's going on. Am I forgetting any um, situation log? Shrine to the old gods. Where's this one? Right over here in Felda's airspace. Now this is the Themlar throng, so we're not getting there. Alien specimen procurement. Yeah, we can get that one soon. And then, if the other one, if, if the Zolkor is also in their territory, which it is not, sadly. It's in the Themlar Throng territory. So, not too much we can do with the situation log. Space Amoeba Specimen. Mysteries of the Universe. Oh yeah, we just bought some coordinates from the curators. Don't know what's going on there yet. That's okay. Rent Beacon Station. All right, Galactic Rakudan and the Sidron Index have closed their borders to us. Have we closed our borders to the Sidron Index? Uh, apparently not. Or we have, but we can't declare them a rival, which makes me sad. We can definitely increase our naval capacity more, though, which could come in handy. Where's the Fahir Station? Yeah, let's go ahead and put a Hyperlane Registrar in there. You never know if a fleet passing through there, especially being manufactured at one of those star bases, could actually benefit from a bit of a boost getting through the system. Might come in handy. Rent Beacon, just do a... We don't really need a Hydroponics Bay anymore. We don't need any of this. I'm telling you, it's tough, to, it's tough to figure out. What, I mean, some of these stations just don't need the extra slots. But you need the module slots, you just don't need the building slots. I would imagine it's something they'll play more with in the future to where there's always, like, a sensible choice. Because that's the kind of thing that Wiz hones in on. Like, when there's... When you lose, like, a meaningful choice and you just end up having to do something arbitrary, that's where the game will be improved. I think. Right, Chibon Station. Let's make this an Anchorage, too. And then definitely a Naval Logistics Office. The Mighton Station. I want this to be a defensive station. Do I need shipyards there? Do I really? I might, given that that's going to be the way into the Prosnock and Herald of Death, so I'll, I'll keep it that way. You got shipyards and anchorages. 
Or maybe just pure shipyard. How about that? And we have a black hole observatory. Let's also do a... Well, we can't do anything yet, but we can do a fleet commander. Or is it fleet administration? Fleet academy? Fleet academy, that's what it is. We can do one of those. Yep. Once we've built our first shipyard. That'll make things better. All right, so our mineral income situation is getting better. We are now 82 months away from an extra core sector system. Wish I was even closer than that. We do have a natural energy credit boost coming that could help with our reliance on edicts. I look forward to that. Let's go ahead and do... Should I do capacity overload? I think since we have the natural energy credit boost coming, I should go ahead and do droning optimizations. There we go. I think that's ultimately going to help out more. So the next continuum. Um, I think we should go ahead and annihilate them. What do you think? We can take over their, their territories and their ring worlds. And uh, I think they actually... Do they have multiple ring worlds? Yeah, they do. Um, we, we'd have to repair them, but we totally could. It would just take a long time because, again, 20,000 minerals each. But hey, let's get started. What's the... F <laughs> Their fleets are not strong. Okay, let's... Um, I think I'm just going to bring everyone in from one direction. Let's say Trappist. So... This is going to reduce my income from having all the fleets mobilized again. This will be fun. And yes, by the way, we've talked extensively in the comments since the series went on break. Yeah, there goes my energy income. Complete. Since the series went on break, we've talked extensively in the comments about the situation with fleet movement with Ropakins Armada. Why were they surging ahead? Well, it's because Ropakins Armada, this guy has, uh, has a scout. Their ships are 10% faster. The reason I get so worked up about it is I'm very, very spoiled by my old uh, old school Sins of a Solar Empire play, where you can get entire massive fleets of ships, no matter how large, to jump in sync with one another. And my brain just kind of automatically expects that, even though I know rationally that that's not built into Solaris. I'm not playing Sins of a Solar Empire. It's just that's kind of where my head goes. Like, wait, why are you running ahead? Like, I don't understand. Stay together. Um, so that's that's that. We've We've talked about it a lot while the series has been on hiatus. And the series, of course, for those of you who don't know, went on hiatus because Distant Stars came out. So I had to do Dynastic Divinity. The series had been going for a while. I mean, we're on episode 48, for God's sake. We've had a lot to do. Let's go ahead and upgrade those stations. And we could even, you know, to help with the energy situation, one thing we could do, we have room for one more station. We could do one, like, in my core territories... I might have a, a planetary system. Oh, wait. Oh, hello. Well, that's an easy fix. Here's another colonizable world that we can take right now. And use uh, Zunur Prime to do it. I forgot about you. Wasn't looking all the way over here, so let's go ahead and colonize that. I think this might have been a colony of ours, because I'm seeing structures. Let's put you there. Verl Tokren. Or maybe that was a... um. That might have been a, whatchamacallit, a primitive's world. I'm thinking it was. Speaking of primitives, I don't see any anywhere else. I really want Posh to be a core planet, but Shinnick could actually... Here's one way I could colonize that right now. I'm starting to think in terms of taking away at some of this. Let's go ahead and colonize here from Sindar. I don't mind sending a colony ship from the homeworld. They're nearby. And then there's one more, right? Or is that it? God, these guys are going down. All right, so we have several armadas. Honestly, we probably have enough to go ahead and take them on. Their technology level is superior to ours, but... Yeah, we want to renew that deal. Absolutely. They're not going to last long. <laughs> they are gonna die and it's gonna be great their stations are pretty strong I'll give them that Construction but once complete. all of my fleets are in one spot and moving together we know what happens beautiful things happen that's what happens central processing here oh interesting look at this look at this How's that for a debris field? Wasn't expecting that. 
Okay, well... I think it's time. We're still waiting on the 45th Armada. They're coming, but the, the rest of the ships are sitting ready. So, even though Ropakin's Armada is going to do its thing, where they run ahead like idiots. I'm going to queue these guys up to follow Ropakin's Armada, because they're, they're never going to get too far ahead. And we're going to send these guys in. The only thing I have to do is declare war. So we can declare a total war using our Colossus. We don't necessarily have to destroy the planets. But once we completely annihilate them, we may be able to just conquer their territory. Or do we have to do we have to have claims? I may need to make claims first. Let's let's go ahead and do this. I've, it's going to cost, well, not that much. I can claim their entire empire in one fell swoop. Make claims. Done. That gives us... That it's going to take a little bit longer to get to the influence we need to fix the energy situation, but at least that way we can declare a proper war. So we can conquer them and declare. Declared war on the foul Xenos. Yay. Okay, so with that being done... We're now in a much better position. Let's take Ropakin's Armada and send them in. This will be amazing. Let's watch some combat really fast. Should be over fast. Oh yeah, that's right. We just conquered it immediately. Because there's no defenses around it. Nice. Alright, so I guess Gamma Refuge is next. Are they sending their ships to counterattack, or are they going to wait for me? They're going to... Uh, they're actually sending them off to Delta Refuge into my territory, which is hilarious. There is one fleet here, though. We have arrived. Oh yeah, they don't stand a chance. They're going to get melted. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, you're dead. Okay, so we need a science ship in here ASAP, because that's fallen empire debris, and could be some very high-level technology for us to use. I think we're already using, come to think of it, I think we're already using high-level technology from fallen empires. Or are we? I'll find out. Yeah, there's definitely some a dark matter reactor component there, so... Let's take the science ship from the Sin system and have them come to Gamma Refuge and come take a look at that. Meanwhile, Ralph Pawkins Armada, we're going to go ahead and send them in and at least clear out this territory. Let's reinforce since we have the minerals for it now. This shouldn't take too long. We already killed one of their fleets. Another one of their fleets is, um, they were headed up that direction, so maybe they'll come back or maybe we'll have to deal with them, but I'm going to go ahead. Oh wait, no, I think that's them right there. Maybe. We'll see. This isn't going to take long. All right, there goes Royal Pawkins Armada, speeding ahead like they always do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Shall we watch? We have mastered a new technology. Hang on, which one? Energy credits plus five, so that didn't entirely fix the problem, though, sadly. I didn't necessarily expect it to. I don't want the Archimeter. Shield hit points plus five sounds good. Energy weapon damage sounds good, because I have lots of energy weapons. Let's do that. It's going to take a long freaking time. Oh yeah, they're getting melted. They're getting absolutely destroyed. Our Titan is slaughtering them. That's beautiful. Alright, so there's some debris there that they also have to take care of once again. Why don't you come take care of those research projects? There's lots of debris now. And then Ralph Pawkins Armada. Before I end this episode, I would I would like to jump over here and finish taking care of these guys. Oh, they're still pursuing their order. Excellent. They're doing exactly what I told them to do. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. We have arrived. This is for all the times that you tried to tell me what to do in the early game and did nothing but annoy me is for all those times, you punks. I am enjoying this so much. Okay, so we control Alpha Refuge. 
and we're about to control Beta Refuge, and we might just straight up win the war. I'm going to see if it lets me do that. I don't know if it will or not. Hang on. Let's get the order for reinforcement. 45th Armada is... You need to be following Ropakin's Armada around. Just like the rest of the fleet, even though it'll take you longer to arrive. Now let's go ahead and move in here. I think we'll actually have to conquer the, the territories, but if we control the systems, there's no way for them to rebuild ships and hit me back. So I say bring it on. Let's finish this really quick before the episode ends. Let's finish this. Construction complete. Chibon Station, still building the Anchorage is good. I've got plenty of room for him. God, they died so quickly. That's Construction pathetic. complete. Trade deal duration expired. So they were giving me Teldar Crystals. Eh, I think I might have Teldar Crystals. No, I don't, but I'm still, I think, I'm sure I'm fine without them. Okay, so we're all done over here. We might have more to do up here soon, though. So let's go ahead and bring construction ships up to Trappist. One of our spaceports is under attack. Which one? What? They must have charged in here and tried to hit the... They must have. That's got to be it. All right, yeah, we've got to take the, the ruined ring worlds. Actually, no, this this is not colonized, is it? So this, this system will belong to us. But these worlds, Alpha Refuge, this is what we're going to have to, to wreck. The processing unit and the production unit, which um might not be terribly hard to uh, to do. Oh, wow, check that out. Check out the mineral production we're going to get from that. Is Gamma Refuge still good? No, that's all ruined. Okay, so I'll stop this one here. In the next one, we're going to finish conquering this territory and add, apparently, a ton of mineral production to our empire. And uh, then we're going to turn our attention to the Prosnock and Heralds of Death and probably finish them in uh, almost as rapid a fashion. And the Prosnock and, or the uh, Sidron Index will follow them. And before that, before long, we're going to have, especially because we have multiple systems where there's multiple planets to, to colonize, like these Ringworlds, uh, we're going to move towards domination victory fairly quickly. We might be done shortly around or after or shortly after or around episode 50, but uh, we'll have to see how it pans out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 7 p.m. Eastern time for now. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time.